Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to implement a UI from a specification. All right, so what I'd like to do um, when I'm on top of things is to start by planning the resources that I'm going to be using in the program. All right, so strings and colors. All right, so the first thing, uh, you know, if we start with strings, we see that there's really just, just three, uh, three places where, where text shows up on the screen. One is the name of the app, and that should be taken care of for us already when we set up the project. Uh, second is going to be um, any text that shows up on the button here. And third, and probably the most complicated one, is this, this text right here because it's going to have to be formatted. Uh, not a big deal. Android's going to help us with, with all those things. All right, so let's, let's, let's talk about strings, uh, strings first. All right, um, you know, you want to plan these things out uh, as much as you can, uh, mostly to make uh, your maintenance easier. Uh, especially if you're going to be translating into multiple languages. All right, so we'll plan some, some resources here. Um, we see that, that we're going to have uh, in our string.xml, uh, we get some stuff to start with. In fact, we get the app name. Now, if I were going to pull this guy up quick, uh, we could take a look at it. OK, so here we are in our strings.xml, and we want to put in a couple more strings here. We see that we already have the app name. So I want to put in my, my button. So, uh, so I'm going to have a string that is named and I only have one button, so I can just call it button text if I like. And the text is going to be, uh, I think I used to like press me, or something like that. Um, and then for our message, we had a couple things here. So we're going to have a name. This first one is going to be just a placeholder when we launch the app, so message start. Uh, and that's going to say something like, you have clicked the button zero times. Oops, let's fix that. T-I-M-E-S. All right, very good. And the most interesting one is sort of the formatted message, because we want it to be different uh, whether we have singular or plural. Uh, and I know we could do that in code, and that's why I've done it in the past. But but actually, Android lets you do this uh, uh, right here in resources. So let's uh, let's play around with it. It's a pretty neat feature. It even handles pluralization correctly in, in, in different languages, which have different ideas of, of uh, how things should change with, with pluralization. So. Very cool. So let's go ahead and we're going to make this message uh, format. Uh, and plurals have uh, multiple items in them, right, uh, for different quantities. So in English, all we really need to worry about are sort of one versus other, right? So one is going to be our, our, our singular. Um, so you have clicked, uh, again, I, I should probably just grab it from, from, from up above here. Um, Say so you have clicked the button, and we'll put a placeholder here, so we can say percent %d for an integer, um, and it's going to be time singular. Um, I don't usually put periods on 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 things if it's just one phrase, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Uh, and then my second one, item quantity is going to be other, so anything that isn't one, um, then we'll say you, and I'll paste the rest of it in. You've clicked the button uh, percent %d times, right? So singular versus others. And that's what we have for, for our strings. Again, we'll see later on that we can create these on the fly. But if I know what they're going to be, I might as well set them up right, right now. All right, so again, final comment about this uh, is, is that in most cases, um, you know, it, we're, we're not going to worry too, too much about plurals. But when you do your project, you want on things to be a little bit more professional, uh, and you can use them. All right, next up we have colors. Uh, colors follow a standard uh, RGB model, for those that are familiar with that. Um, so we get some built-in colors here. Um, for us, we get a little palette that, that has three different colors. And just jumping over into that, uh, let's, let's go into colors. And the neat thing about Android Studio is it even shows you little, little samples here. So they, they give you some, some, a primary color, a dark color, and an accent color. Um, these guys right here are specified, and you notice that they're giving us is six uh, hex values. So each pair of hex values is a, is a number in the range uh, 0 to 255. Um, and let's see, so we'll, we'll check this out. Um, in those cases, uh, those are RGB format, 0 to 255. If you give it an additional two bytes in the beginning, that's for transparency. Now, they left them out because that means fully opaque. If we wanted to be really explicit, we could put in the FF for 255 or fully opaque in the beginning. Uh, if we don't care so much about the exact color, we can approximate with just one hex value each. So this only gives you uh, 16 variant variations on red, 16 for green, 16 for blue. Um, but oftentimes that, that might be a, enough for what we want. 
right? And again, this even this first um, one here for uh, transparency is optional. So let's go ahead and get these guys in here. So the background colors that we chose to use for this uh, for this app right here, uh, the background color is going to be a, a pretty bright green. Um, so we we have yeah, we have we have plenty of green, uh, nothing in the other channels. And then for the the text, uh, FFF would be white. We're leaving green up a little bit, pulling back the others, so it's going to give us a very light light green color. Okay. So let's go ahead and and do that right now. Uh, so again, you can you can copy and paste these, or you can uh, you just type it in here. So the first one's going to be our background color, and this guy is going to be always going to use the number sign at the beginning of it. And we said um, that this is going to be FF, no red, uh, full. Uh, I guess not quite full green. So so an AA, and then no blue. And we can see that that gives us this green right here. And then our text color. It's just text and number sign, and then it'll be fully opaque, so I'm even going to leave off the F, and then just use the single bytes for the other, so, so just uh, DFD. And I did these totally different, just to let you know that, that it there's there's some flexibility as far as how you specify them. Um, lowercase, uppercase, doesn't matter. Uh, the number sign you definitely need, though, so that's that's important. All right, so once you've done the, the, that work, next thing that you want to do is to think about how you're going to lay things out on the screen. All right, so let me give you some, some requirements here. So first thing is that our, our message text is going to be centered in both directions, right? So this guy right here, the, the T on the, is right in the middle of the screen uh, going down and then going, going across here, right? Uh, and it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Um, let's see, so I'm giving you a size. So it's going to be 18 point uh, font here, light green, we already got the color. Uh, the button up top uh, is going to have an 18 point margin, so on top, and we're probably going to end up using the same margin here, so it's just going to be 18 um, sort of all around. Um, and then the background, as we said, was, was going to be green. Okay. Now, first thing that we need to figure out is which layout to use. Uh, there's different ones. Uh, if you wanted to put things all next to each other in, in a straight line, a linear layout's nice. But when we, we have things that are centered on the screen, or if we can define them relative to each other, right? So either aligned or above or below, to the left, to the right, whatever. Um, then relative layouts, yeah, work work really really well. All right. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, so we're going to implement um, activity main dot dot XML. All right. So here I am in in activity main. We see that we just get this this blank guy to start with, and I'm going to pull it a little bit bigger here. Um, Take a look at my text. Uh, I usually like to, to work with, with things in, in text as much as I can. Um, I'm going to format this guy. So there is there is a format uh, somewhere. I just I, I probably forget the, the name for it. Uh, reformat code. Um, there's Control Alt L. Um, the Eclipse uh, Control Shift F also works. Um, so I don't even ever bother with the menus. Uh, and I see that I have a relative layout to begin with. Uh, this guy has a width and height, which filled the screen. So match parent just just means take up all the space that you're given. And there's some some padding that's built in. If you click on these guys, the, those are actually constants that are defined in this dimensions file, right? So horizontal and vertical mar margins are here. If I ever wanted to change them, uh, and we're using those for for padding. Um, and we have one text view inside that's sort of wrapped around it, and, and it says hello world. Uh, so if I go in the design, I could do a couple things, right? One would be if I wanted to repurpose that text view, I could just drag it around, and you see that that it'll snap into place here, and it even says uh, that it's centered horizontally and vertically. All right, so I'm going to drag it there, and then I'm going to change it. So go in here. Uh, so it's it's still going to still going to wrap. That's perfectly fine. Uh, the text uh, the text is not going to be that. It's going to be the message start, and what I can do is if I start typing string, for instance, uh, then it will look for the ones that I've defined in, in uh, strings.xml. And then I can just go ahead and grab the, the message start. Uh, now, it's interesting. I'm not seeing the message format here. I might have messed something up on that, so I'm going to come back to that for a second. Um, plurals, yeah, I guess that's OK. So I probably just needed to refer to it as plurals if that's what I wanted. Uh, all right, so I have a message start, and it's centered horizontally and vertically. I also said that I wanted some, uh, some size on this and a color. So I'm going to go ahead and set the, the text size first. Text size equals, uh, and the size is going to be 18. Uh, and you notice it gives me lots of options here. Um, 
you're strongly encouraged, right? Like I'm going to require it, um, you to use these SP. SP is scale independent pixels. Uh, they, they respect uh, font sizes uh, that users choose um, on the screen. So if they say put everything in big font, then, then they'll, they'll try to do that, right? So it's, it's, it's kind of neat. Um, and the color uh, I can do here, so text color. And again, if I wait, it'll, it'll say, hey, do you want something from your colors file? And I can hit control space if I want to get the other ones. And we said that this was going to be our text color. Now, if I look on the screen, it's going to be really, really light here uh, until I change the background color. So let's do that next. Um, so I'm going to go back into to my layout. And just somewhere in between the ones that exist, I'm going to hit uh, Android. And this is going to be background. And again, this is color. And background color is what I wanted. And if I go back here, uh, now I can see that, that this shows up like this. Uh, looks looks pretty decent. Um, you you might be wondering how do you how do you ever memorize all the different uh, the different two terms for some of these? Uh, it just comes from practice and, and use. Uh, if you want to to see um, sort of visually um, what some of your options are, you can scroll right through these here at this little properties editor. So it's kind of neat. So that's for the relative layout, and then into the text view, I can do the same thing. Um, so sometimes I use that if, if I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for. Um, and then, you know, just, just tab completing is also pretty decent too. Um, whoops, don't go away. Uh, you know, if I just say Android colon, and then I can start scrolling through to see all the options that are there too. Okay. Uh, pretty decent. So that's my text view. Let's go ahead and add the button. So we've got a button. Uh, now you can either create them from scratch. You could just, if you know the word button, uh, it'll lead you through this. Uh, the other thing that you could do is if you want to just drag and drop the widget off of here, you can. So I'm going to grab a button and put it up at the top, and I'm going to specify it. I want it centered horizontally, uh, aligned with the parent, and then I'm going to give it a margin, and I'm going to tweak that margin in, in a minute here. So I'll let go just so it shows up, and then go back into here, reformat things, and let's see. So what did it give us? So it gave us a button. It gave us an ID. So IDs are going to be important for us to refer. Um, if things are relative to each other in code, you have to give them IDs so that you can uh, so you can refer to to other things. Uh, so maybe I wanted the button above the text view. I would actually need an ID on the text view. Uh, the second thing is that anything that I want to change in code also needs to be identified. So I have a way to find it. And it turns out that that the code is going to need to know about the button and the text view. So I'm going to go ahead and give the, the text view an ID as well. IDs, if you see how they're specified here, they're, the, the syntax is a little bit weird, but it will basically fill it in for you. Type control space. Um, it's this at and then plus, I believe, makes a, a new ID. Um, and then, of course, the ID tag. And you can call this whatever you want. Uh, so I might call this maybe, maybe message text here. Uh, and then yeah, that, that's fine. So going back down to my button here, so it has an ID. Um, its size is wrapped around um, things. And, and if I look at it, it's a pretty small button. If I wanted it to be bigger, I could change the width so that it matches the parent. Um, and that's a, a pretty common paradigm is to have the width of something match the parent. So it's, it's, it, it gets pretty wide. Um, and then to just have the, the height wrap the content. So you put other things above or below it. We see it's aligned with the top. So that's pretty good. Now we see it's wider. Uh, the margins are kind of a bit funky here, so let's change those. I see that I have a margin top of 48 and then no margins on, on the rest of it. Uh, first of all, I, I wanted this guy to be, I believe it was is 18 is what I, I said it here. Um, and if I want it to be all margins, I could also specify here and copy and paste this and make left and right margins. Uh, I don't really care what the bottom margin is, so I might as well just set them all to 18. And the shortcut for that is just to, just to set margin to 18. If I look at it, that's that's going to look a little bit better. Okay, so the only other thing that I haven't done is to set the text on this. Uh, they gave me a default of new button, but we made a string for that. Uh, so button text is going to go in there, um, and again, that's that's going to say press me. Let's do a quick review of of, of what we did, uh, and you'll see that, that that we got this here. So um, just a little bit of review about sizes. Uh, that I used in there, you, you probably noticed uh, that it, that I had a oops, um, that I that I was using uh, for margins that it gave me this DP here. Again, these are these are density independent pixels, uh, and the reason that, that we do that um, is that if we have different screens that are the same size uh, but they have different resolutions, uh, we don't want one to show up, you know, huge on one device and tiny on another. 
Um, so it, we want to always specify our size in, in these device independent pixels. Sometimes you'll see a DIP even. Uh, and then we mentioned for font size, uh, so the scale independent pixels are similar to, to, to DPs, um, except that they also take font size preferences into account. We're always going to use those for text. All right, that's all we got for you for this lesson. See you later.